Hey guys, K Parts of PCs here. Today I have another video. Today I'm going to be taking out this uh, new Ro Rosewill case that I got in the mail today. I got it for 54 bucks, and it came with a 400 watt power supply. So yeah, we're going to take it out today out of the box. As you can see, I've already cut it just so I don't have to cut it on camera. And yeah, so let's get into this. So first up, it seems like they're just using a generic super super sturdy foam to hold this in place so it doesn't get dented during shipping but hey i mean the case was 54 bucks at the time and it came with a power supply so you can't really complain for how much the cost was and after sliding it out of the box it came out pretty easily so now it's time to take the extremely flimsy foam off I have a lot of static on the see on me. Oh, this thing grounded. Interesting. And yeah, I'm gonna take the other side of the foam off. And boom. And you can see the power supply. Thankfully, it's not just some rando white power supply, it's an actual power supply from Rosewell as well. So, yeah. Now, like I said, I got this case on the cheap for $54, and while I have a slight feeling it's going to be, you know, like the experience I paid for, but that's good enough because I'm going to be selling this. So, okay, so this doesn't open. I thought this was like an opening tray or something. Maybe it is. I don't know. It kind of looks like it, but I'll just have to check in a minute. So as we can see, the front I.O. is pretty minimal as power button reset. I can barely even press that. Two USB 2s, microphone, headphone, audio jacks, 3.5 millimeter, and USB 3.0. Just the basics for a normal case that costs this price. Now, it does come with a rear fan, so that is a little nice surprise. I think it's a 120 millimeter fan. So, yeah, let's check this thing out. Now, one thing to do note, this thing kind of smells like uh, liquid smoke, you could say, or like one of those Lionel trains. Uh, there it goes. Smells weird, but that's besides the point because let's just get this thing open and working. Okay, so now I have the case open. Turns out it only came with one 120 millimeter rear fan but that's whatever the power cord the power supply a 400 watt rosewill power supply i think it's just 80 plus nothing much a one bay hard drive caddy it's interesting i haven't really ever seen that you have you know the usb3 header which i will be using one of these adapters i think i posted in a short or a USB 3 to USB 2 for one of the piece for the PC I'm putting in this. And uh, I think I'll be throwing some, I don't know, maybe a normal fan since there's, this doesn't open like I thought it would. Because I'm kind of disappointed it doesn't. And because of the minimal air, minimal air flow. But hey, it's still interesting enough, right? So, now it's time to just take a look in the back and see how it looks back there. How good the cable management is. So one thing of note, this thing does come with a bag full of screws, standoffs. These screws look kind of big. I think there's even a, like a foot in here for the case right there. And uh, a bunch of zip ties. So yeah, that's nice that they threw that in with the case. Okay, so now we can see the back end of the case. We can see that this is a one you know bay hard drive but it does come with the caddy so that's very nice this time geez that's stutter uh does have a couple mounting spots for ssd one right there one right there or laptop hard drives if you're one of those kind of people but keyword those <laughs> then a bit of cable management area so you could run your 24 pin here here and your gpu power connectors and say done cables and stuff like that then you got the back motherboard slot which you know you just put the motherboard and it's going to be facing up but you can also run 
your four or eight pin power connectors through there, which makes it decent enough. So sadly, I have not been able to get the front side panel off. Uh, I have been able to get these two side panels, but uh, the front panel I have not been able to get off. I've been spending like 10 minutes just trying to pry it off. You can see I got nothing done after trying to pry it off. So it seems as if the worker was uh, pretty mad, but when we're building this, that's fine by me. Which means that these are gonna, st the fan and the power supply are gonna stay in. Anyways, you'll po possibly see this in a new video about the GPU you saw in one of my shorts, the RX, uh, the WX2100, the, you know, quite interesting RX 462 gig killer that only uses eight lanes in DisplayPort, mini DisplayPort. Anyways, this is K Parts for PCs, signing out.